Hello everyone, welcome back to the Excel 2016 training. In this video, we will look at adding worksheets to your workbook. Here is the employee's workbook and it has two worksheets, sheet 1 and sheet 2. Now let us uh, take a look at how we can add more worksheets to this workbook. One of the options is to use the plus thing or the plus symbol at the right of the last worksheet. When you click on that, what it does is it inserts a blank worksheet to the right of the current active worksheet. By that, what I mean is, say for example, sheet 2 is selected, you click a plus sign here, it adds the new blank sheet to the right of the worksheet there meaning now let me repeat this again let me go back to sheet one here click plus see the sheet five is now inserted to the right of sheet one if sheet four is selected and do a plus now the next sheet two got added to the right of sheet four so it's very simple just use this plus and you know you get a new blank sheet there's another way to do it you know say for example uh, you want to add a new worksheet here let's say around sheet 3 make sure it is active right click on it you will get a little menu the very first option is insert click on it and you will see a dialog box and make sure the worksheet is selected by default it is selected and do OK now this inserts the new blank sheet to the left of the previous active worksheet. Now, as you can see, the active seven, the new worksheet is active. Well, that was very quick. I know, easy ways to add new sheets. Now, let me add more sheets. You know, I'll click this plus symbol multiple times to get more sheets here. As you can see, it's inserting the new sheets to the right of the current active sheet. I can let me do this here. Let me make sheet six active and clicking. Now, as you can see, you know, the, the sheets are sliding to the left. See now here, the visible is sheet three. Click one more time. Now it's sheet two, sheet three, sheet six. And this is because you know you have certain area here to display the tabs for the sheets because there are more than that can be accommodated here the sheets are sliding to the left and it's there's nothing wrong about it that's how it works and it is very easy to get back to the desired worksheet you have little arrows here to navigate to the desired worksheet see here on the left keep clicking on it and you know it slides to the right so now you can go to you know any desired uh, sheet and uh, you can do the right arrow here and you know move them to the left and you know you can go to the desired uh, sheet as well meaning you can just move them and click on the sheet you might have noticed uh, three little dots here on the left hand side uh, or the left side of the sheet and there's one here three dots on the right side of the sheets now what this tells is that this tells us that there are more sheets to the left and this tells there are more sheets to the right so you can click on it it displays now here now the sheet these little dots are gone what that tells is that there are no more sheets on the left hand side so uh, that pretty much disappeared you can use this right arrow now you know you have these three dots you know they appeared back now what this tells again is that you know there are sheets on the left same thing with this there are sheets on the right side here you click that and move around so that's um, you know, how you navigate within a uh, you know, workbook across the sheets where you have more the sheets than they can be accommodated here in particular display. As you can see, the horizontal bottom area is shared by the worksheets and the 
horizontal scroll bar. Um, you know, when you have more worksheets and if you want uh, to use more area to display the, you know, the sheet tab names, then you can, you know, do that. It's very simple. The three little dots here, move your mouse over the three vertical dots. Once you see or notice uh, uh, the new cursor that appears with, you know, with the parallel lines and arrows pointing to the left and right, hold your left mouse button and drag it to the desired location, meaning you move it to the right, then you're allocating more area to display the sheet tabs or move to the left and you notice you'll have a longer horizontal bar or scroll bar to move around. Well, uh, that's it for this video. I will see you in the next video.